Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Plays XCOM, where I'm going to be totally honest with you, I have no idea what we have to do in the base right now, because we did it all two episodes ago, so I think the only thing we really can do at this moment in time is hit scan and, and wait for the, maybe this Illyrium contract to come down, just like that. Uh, it, it's easy enough to fill time when we have to. So what can we do with this now? We, so we can... Um, Oh, we're not allowed to manufacture it because it's beyond our capabilities. We need to get more stuff from the alien craft, that's fine. But we can improve our arc thrower, which is great. What, what do you reckon that will give us av availability of? Um, increasing the power of our arc throwers, we should successfully we should increase the successful stun rate in combat. But I've already I've, I've, I've already got 100% usage out of it. Every time I've used it, all three times, it's just been like, bam, done. Well, anyway, what I'm going to do first is get this cyber disc autopsy, because it's the first time we saw one, so let's get our scientists on it. We've yet to recover one of these in functional condition from the field. The men seem to enjoy using them for target practice. At the present time, we know that the cyber disc, as they've been calling it, is heavily armed, but it shows no clear pattern of behavior on the battlefield. I've seen a clear pattern of behaviour. It comes along and throws grenades at me. Oh, wow, look at this uh, misplaced menu. Should we sort that out? There we go. Okay, so uh, we've got the autopsy to take us down. There's, again, nothing else really to do until that is done. So let's just continue on. Uh, I want to be thinking about launching some uh, satellites soon. I mean, I know we can only go for two. So that there I am saying there's nothing to do. Of course there's things to do. Now, I think... Oh, wow. I mean, just look at, look at these. Uh, we, we've got what is it four days five days to launch a satellite and we have two that we can launch now looking around oh, and i'm gonna sneeze or not okay um, we've got mexico argentina and brazil that are looking pretty pretty hectic and russia now i'd like to put one in russia because it's one of the like ultimate money winners uh yeah also i i would be most upset if Ru russia one of our strongest allies was to leave the coalition that that would that would be rubbish um and, and i'm not too sure about mexico argentina or brazil i mean what do they have to bring to the to the uh the table so let's launch this russian one do I want to launch this? So the, the other thing I'm thinking of is that I don't have any satellites in South... Well, go to sleep number two. No one cares about you right now. Uh, the, the other thing I'm thinking about is that we don't have any satellites in this uh, South American continent. Uh, so maybe putting something there would help. But whilst we're thinking about that, let's go continue scanning on. Um, see if we can't get this cyber disc autopsy done. I'm really hoping for a little bit of action at some point. Uh, so UFO tracking boost is available for manufacture. This is good. Uh, it's uh, all this satellite stuff that I don't really, uh, that I can't really make. Uh, so do we want to do the commander or uh, com commander sectoid autopsy? Wow, words words are failing me today. I think that's what we'll do next. This is an extremely dangerous species, commander. Although not physically intimidating, the psionic power that this creature wields is perhaps the greatest threat we've encountered so far. So it's been a lovely week for the research scientists, cutting up all sorts of dead bodies and stuff. I'm, I'm sure they thank me for it. I mean, wh why wouldn't they? Uh, 16 days. When this gets down to like 10 days, we're going to have to be thinking about things. Abduction sites, awesome. And Marquez has rejoined the team. So that, that's the main thing to do here. Yeah, I did, did change his name. Commander. Good. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Well, obviously we're going to be doing Argentina. That will reduce panic across the whole of the uh, of the continent, I'm hoping. I see that. And look, France is not very panicked. China, not very panicked. Argentina. Panic is my main concern right now. We're, with all these panic levels up high, I'm not really worried about engineers or extra, extra people or extra scientists or even extra money at this point. I just want to keep everyone in XCOM. Uh, so how is our team layout looking? Um, we've got Yella all day, Odin, Doc and Kobayashi. Now I'm not sure whether we want to swap Kobayashi for Pedersen or do we keep Kobayashi in for levelling up? I think we're going to keep him in for levelling up. Get, getting good rounded squads, what we want to go for here. Right, well, off to Argentina. I don't think we've been to South America yet. Maybe this is why they're panicking so much. We haven't shown our presence. Um, and we're going in at night. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, as always, we're we're going to be in urban areas. I do quite dislike. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. I, I do quite dislike being in open sort of fields and stuff. Doesn't give me anywhere to cover. Alien activity within a major metropolitan area. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> 
this landing process takes longer and longer each time or at least it feels like it to me i suppose i've, I've seen it like 20 30 times now so it's getting a bit much okay so as always let's have a quick scan around see what our bounding boxes are so we've got a wall here back wall here what about over that way um oh it goes on a long way okay but does it go on as far this way or is that the end is that the end no no i think that i think that is just a uh off into the fog of war so i think what we're going to do is we're going to go over here if we can get nakagawa up here that'd be a good place to start using squad sites so let's put marquez over here uh, maybe get the assault team hang on let's put him on to overwatch uh maybe get this assault team out we don't want to worry about doc williams yet he is our last person to worry about nakagawa is going to be coming up here we want to put him onto the oh we still haven't given him the plasma pistol I keep forgetting to do that. I really, I really do have to do that, especially as every time he moves, he uses a pistol. So, yeah, all right. So, Kobayashi is going to come down this way somewhere, or does he want to go with... Let's put him on the other side from Nakagawa. Maybe being on this side of the car was a bad idea, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see what's going on. Uh, Doc, not you, and Turk. Uh, possibly going to expose some of the map that I don't want to, but maybe we should follow the line of these pods down. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So it's always difficult to figure out where I'm going with this first first deployment. Which way do I want to go? What, what's going on? Stuff like that. It's all very difficult. But we should hopefully find out what's going on with their little deployment here. Hopefully. See what they do. Um, no, they're not doing anything. Okay, so let's run up here and see if there's anything to worry about in this sort of area. Uh, maybe we can get Nakagawa up there. Oh yeah, look at that. Brilliant. Okay. What? that thing just like leak yellow stuff out of its shoulder i'm pretty sure it did pretty sure it did now are any of these on overwatch this is a question this is a question let's leave marquez for now uh kobayashi can come over here and get get in cover behind this door blates um can we can we shoot anything from here mm, we could it would be a lot oh he's only got the one we'll wait we'll wait and see so if we get Marquez to fire in on that other guy, give him a bit of holo targeting, and then Kobayashi can come in. Uh, the whole time Nakagawa, ooh, that said, we can use squad site here. Let's have a look. 75, 95, let's do that. Bring the snipers in, it's what it's all about. Yeah. Okay, cool, that's one down. That, that, that's a lot easier. Um, Turk needs to move forwards. Unfortunately, she is pretty. Um, pretty lacking in cover that's the words i'm looking for that's the words i'm looking for 17 percent hit it's not great is it it's not great let's try I mean, is this the flush no it was pedersen that had flush knew we should have brought her knew we should have brought her so let's try this 35 percent hit at least i'll get some hollow targeting and then everyone else can come in with that right oh, that sounds like plan. it's the plan i normally go for doc is going to bring up the rear as you will um see what he does yeah he's just looking fine it's fine okay turk what are you gonna do 27 percent hit chance so just just overwatch it i know you're gonna get shot at but yeah there we go and kobayashi has no one to aim at so we're just gonna overwatch as well okay this is good i, I think we're kind of handling this all right handling it just as well as we normally do to be fair um so i'm expecting grenades to be inbound or something like that wow suppression okay well what, what, what? I still haven't found out what the, these different status effects are, the suppression and stuff like that. Now, last time Marquez was suppressed, hang on, let's, let's get back to him. Uh, we actually made like a 5% hit chance. Look at this, 5% again. Should we try it? What about the other guy? What's he got? 25% hit chance. Or we could launch a rocket. Or we could launch a rocket. Uh, I, I'm not feeling that too much. The main reason being there's only two guys there. I reckon we can take them with the squad. Uh, so let's try it. There's 5%, 25 I'd really like to get those guys in there. Maybe we can get Nakagawa to shoot them afterwards. Maybe. No, no car exploding anywhere. That's a shame. Okay, let's find... Let's find Kobayashi Nakagawa. Maybe we can shoot at him. Yeah, look at that. Brilliant. It's all about the sniper, really. Um, like, early in the game, I was really thinking that, like, we need, we need the assault and the heavies and things like that. But there's nothing compared to what these, uh, these snipers do nothing compared to what these snipers do can we shoot at this guy no we can't okay so we're just gonna overwatch again all right awesome doc can stay there whilst turk comes running up this way seems like the plan really doesn't it seems like the plan to me anyway we can fire over the top 49 percent we're gonna try it probably would have been better just to oh wow well, look at that i was gonna say it probably would have been better just to overwatch but went ahead and killed him so yeah yay 
death, doom, destruction. That's what it's all about. Okay, we're going to wait here. Maybe we can get uh, Nakagawa up onto this one because it seems to be more central and then he can use his squad site to take out anything and everything around. Uh, I'm going to send Marquez down this way just to kind of uh, watch the area around me. Should we do a, actually do a reload? Um, there we go, reload. Seems to have gone through a lot of, lot of ammo already. Then we can get Doc over here. Okay, Overwatch, brilliant. I think Turk might even come down the front. That might be the way to go. That might be the way to go. Well, I'm hoping it is anyway, obviously. Uh, Kobayashi comes down here. So, having a look around, so there's a construction yard area here. There are bound to be some bad people here. Um, and then there's all sorts of dead space over here. I reckon there's loads over there. Okay, well, who's next? Nakagawa, what I really want to do is dash you up here, but I think that's going to lead to trouble. So let's dash to the bottom of this ladder. And then we'll just wait here. Not that you can do much else. Overwatching with Kobayashi. Wait to see what the aliens do. Uh, hopefully nothing too extreme. Yeah, so as I, as I thought, there, there's people over there. Can we scroll up and look? Oh, what? Oh, mutons. They're, they're a bit rubbish. But no, they're quite good. And that's the problem. Uh, don't, why would you take a reaction shot with a shotgun from like halfway across the map? Um, well, I suppose I should put her in a better place, really. I suppose I should put her in a better place. Okay, so first off, let's get Nakagawa up here. Um, can we do that? Can we do that without uh, sacrifice? No, we can't. We, we're gonna have to put him up. I don't know if I want to like put him straight there and leave him to open shots from the muton, or just put him back here somewhere. Let's put him there. Now we're going to have to overwatch with the pistol this round, but next round we should be able... Oh, look at that, that's terrible. But next round we should be able to use the sniper rifle to great effect. Hopefully, hopefully, that, that is definitely the plan. Uh, we'll come down this way with Marquez. Any good? We can't see anybody, so that, that's good enough, I suppose. Uh, Doc is going to stay with Nakagawa just in case... Oh, no, let's, let's, let's let him follow Marquez's lead. If, if we can get the two of them together, then the bonuses from Doc should help... Marquez, hopefully. If we come down here, are we going to get shot by a lot more people? I don't know. Let's... Oh, wow. A lot more people. So this is um, maybe a little bit dangerous. Maybe a little bit dangerous. We're missing a lot of stuff. Missing a lot. This would be the perfect place for a rocket, actually. Too bad we've moved um, Marquez already. Yeah, that, that's, that's a real shame, actually, thinking about it. That is a real shame. Um, I, I don't know what I can do from here. I mean, I get more critical chance. Maybe if I just overwatch, we hold them down. Uh, it's, it's, it's not feeling good, really, is it? It's not feeling good. Uh, if I put him here, am I just going to get grenaded? I think I am going to get grenaded, but there's not really any other place we can put him and get him into the fray. What I should have done, maybe, is bring him around here. Can we run and gun still? You can run and gun. Okay. Going in for the kill. You, well, you're not going in for a kill as much as you are for a better place to hide without getting absolutely slaughtered by everyone. Hopefully, 47%. It's not 75. Maybe take that drone out. Now, do the drones repair the um, cyber discs? I'm not sure. There's a lot of them there, isn't there? Well, we wanted Kobayashi to go in, in the lead and, and take on all the things. Oh, wow, six points of damage. Any more of those and... Well, three more of those and, and I'll be in trouble. Um, that's all right, though. We've got Doc. We can we can move him up. Use a... Ooh, ha. Can we? Oh, it's all blocked. Shot is blocked. Shot is blocked. Ah, oh, this is rubbish. Where can we... Shot is just 100% blocked. Okay, do we run him this way and then fire down at a later point, maybe? Maybe? I mean, it'd be nice to get behind there, but then what's going to happen? Everything's going to just, like, be totally all over me. Um, let's go around this way. Fire at who we can fire at. And next round, if they're all still there, is the cyber disc around? Yeah, this is what we want to fire at. That's brilliant. That's exactly what we want to do. The, the, the more damage we can lay into that cyber disc as quick as possible, the better I think we're going to be. Um, I can't quite get over to Turk here to do some real damage. So that, that's a bit of a shame. But this is what's going to have to happen. Not real damage, real healing, in fact, is what I was trying to say. Uh, let's have a look at the cyber disc somewhere. There we go. 77% to hit with a shotgun. Should be fine, hopefully, if not death. Oh, one hit left. What? Um, can Kobayashi finish it off? 
no. No, he can't. Okay, well, we're just going to have to finish this Muton off. Or leave him with one point, as seems to be the uh, the way of the game so far. Okay, so what about what about Nakagawa? Who can he take out? Who's that? That Muton there. Okay, maybe if we uh, use our sniper rifle. That's what it's called, yes, of course. Uh, maybe a headshot on this Muton. 65% hit, 65, uh, 60 to do damage. Hopefully, cross fingers. Boom! Five points of damage is not a headshot, really, is it? Well, we'll have to see what's going on. I have a feeling Nakagawa has just cost us a man. Oh, oh he's full on running away, though. I wonder what that means. I wonder what that means. Oh, it's all, it's all death. It's all death. No? Do we not have death? We, we seem to be doing all right, actually. We seem to be doing all right. Uh, I'm not sure what, what these guys are doing, but Blood Call, what did that do? Has everyone got extra health now? No? No, I'm not sure what that Blood Call does either. Well, I'm sure somewhere there is a wiki that will tell me all these things, but I just don't know where. Oh, 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 oh I saw a 90% there somewhere. Where is it? Should we uh, spin the map round? Can we spin the map round? Oh, no. Well, we are changing our selections when we want to change the map view. Right, somewhere around here is that gonna hit Kobayashi this this is my big fear uh, let's close that down turn around fully to see if we do Kobayashi is there um, shot block shot blocked 90% is a bit out of the way isn't it okay so we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that let's just shoot at this guy here hopefully this should just finish him off he's only got three points of life oh no oh no okay well that's a bit rubbish uh, Doc can fire at one person, or more important. Oh, I grouped them all up now. We're going to be dying from an from an alien grenade soon. We can't kill everyone this round. Yeah, it's all going to be very, very, very deadly soon. Very, very deadly. Fifteen percent hit. Eleven percent hit. Oh my God. Thirty-five. Should we um, move her in somewhere a bit closer to everyone? What about Kobayashi? What can he do? What can he do? We've got a 43% of the hit there. Okay, let's do that. Hopefully that's good enough. Or not. Or not. Okay. Well, we just have to deal with what we can deal with. 65, 100% hit chance. Do it. Watch me miss. Yay! Long range sniper shots. That's what it's all about. Is he now going to explode in like horrible death? Why didn't he take out any of the mutons? Oh well. That's um... Vexing, but not not undealable. Okay, so we got shot on one person. Who is it? This forty-three percent. Let's do it. Oh wow, we're not we're not hitting well today, are we? We're not hitting well. But at least I stopped them being all grouped up together. Like Turk could take a couple of shots, not really worry about it too much. But if like Turk, Doc, and uh, Marquez all took some like grenade damage, I could could be having a little bit of trouble here. Um, so I'm in big trouble, it turns out. Yeah, it, it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Hopefully Turk's not going to take too many points of damage. But they do seem to have properly pinned me down. Um, everyone's going to be taking a long rest after this. Uh, Kobayashi... Oh, he's dead. Uh, not, well, Turk is dead. Stuff is exploding everywhere. Wow. Well, um... Oh. Oh, it's a sad day. Turk is dead. Um, oh, it is a very sad day. Uh, this is one of the things that happens in war, but oh, wow. Uh, reloading where I have to. Doc is probably going to come through and save the day. This is the sort of thing he does quite a lot. Uh, he does have an alien grenade. Can he throw it and not kill Kobayashi? Uh, he can throw it and kill Kobayashi. That's not so good. That's not so good. Maybe we can move Doc over this way or maybe here. Then we have a free shot at the back there somewhere. Let's let's have a look. Like we should be able to do it without doing him too much damage. If we just spin round in the right direction, somewhere like there. I'm hoping. Oh, I was too far forward to catch him actually. That was probably a hell of a waste. Right, lots of people dead. Lots of people dead. And Kobayashi. I don't know what we're we gonna. Oh, just look at her there. 
her poor, poor mangled form. Who'd have thought a car could explode, eh? Who'd have thought that? Uh, we can't fire at anyone, though we could run and gun, though I think a reload's probably more in order, given what's going on. Um, as long as he doesn't come this way and just, like, full-on suicide bomb this guy, I think we're all right. How does he shoot through there when my guys can't shoot through there? What? What is that about? What is that about? Okay, right, let's go over here with Marquez. Now we've done some moving, we should be able to shoot him. At least get some holo targeting. It's all about that extra 10%. It's all about that extra 10%. And then with these guys, so, like, can Doc actually fire at him? He can't. Um, well, he can, but it's not very... 59. Let's see what Kobayashi can do. Um, let's come out here. Kobayashi should be able to just kind of wander up and shoot him in the face. In fact, I could probably do that with both Doc and Kobayashi and probably kill him, I'm hoping. Boom. Okay. Well, that was good. Well, okay. So, that round of combat is over. Or at least that, that little um, skirmish there is over. But... We are a man down, or a woman down, as it goes, turns out. And I'm not sure what the plans are. It, it's caught me a little bit off guard, as you may be able to tell. Kobayashi full-on needs a fix. Uh, so let's get Doc up here, and then he can do some healing. Wow, that's a four, four hit points. is not really right, going to do much. We'll try and give him a second one afterwards. Um, are we going to need to move Nakagawa up there? I think that might be a good way to go. Let's let's move him down here. There was this um, double ladder thing over there that I think would probably be a good place to, to send him up. Um, but we're just going to have to try and move our way over there. Hope to best that we uh, do things as we do things. Let's see what's going on. So where do you reckon the other guys are? There's got There's got to be another group somewhere. Um... Hopefully not another cyber disc. That that would be pretty horrible. Uh, shall we send Kobayashi? No, Doc, Doc's here. Let's do some more healing. There we go. Don't move. You'll be fine. Oh, I'm not sure what we're going to do about a dead Turk. Well, I suppose we're going to have to t bring on a new person and uh, train them up. But uh, it's a little annoying. It's a little annoying. Uh, Nakagawa, you you definitely just want to do a dash over here. Oh, you can't dash all the way. Okay, so we won't just dash over there. We're going to hide behind this portaloo, as is uh, Nakagawa's way. Oh, opened up too much stuff here. Okay, Kobayashi, hi. Do you want to go? Um, I don't know. Do you want to go stand here and see what see what appears? Maybe there'll be more. Maybe they won't. No, no, we're looking good. We're looking good. Over that way, you say. Quiet. Do you hear something? Uh, I didn't, but now you've shown me a nice marker showing which way they've come from. I think I'm going to go around. The, uh, it's the same amount of cover, no matter where we are around the car, right? So let's go this side of it. Open fire. Here they are. Two mutons. Should be able to take that on relatively easy, especially if we can. Should have got Nakagawa up the ladder before it came out this way, really, shouldn't I? Uh, can I Watch rocket the them? No, not really. He's the one I've got to watch out for. Shot him in the face, six points of damage, two left. That's fine. Doc Williams can probably come up and provide backup. It is his way, after all. 65%. I know, he's normally not too good unless he's run right into their faces. Yeah, see? Negative damage. That's rubbish. Uh, let's send Kobayashi around this way. Does he have a frag grenade? He doesn't. I gave him extra armor, didn't I? That's uh, a little bit rubbish, but that's the way it'll go. Boom! He is the man I wanted dead, so that's pretty good. Uh, and squad sight, you say? What? What's our chance to hit with that? 65%. We'll, we'll take that on. We'll see. We'll see if it's good enough. Fine. Through the portal wall. But there we go. Is that? Is that the round? That's the round. Wow. Uh, well, a, another sad day, guys. Uh, it's, it's our second in this particular playthrough. Uh, I, I'm feeling. Yeah. I'm, I'm not feeling too bad. Oh, and checked out a mass hysteria. And, we are in danger of losing them from the council. Okay, well, I, I was fairly sure this was going to happen. So we're going to launch um, a satellite right now. In fact, can I come back and do this instead of, like, doing this transfer flight? Like, number two is still at base, right? He can do this sort of stuff. I don't know. The restrictions of this game are a bit, bit unrealistic, I find. So, killed in action! It's not nice, is it? It's not nice. But we do have a lot of promotions to deal with here. So let's start with uh, Mr. Williams. He is a colonel. Saviour restores... Uh, Medkits restore four more health points per use. Yeah, I think I might actually be going for that. 
<coughs> excuse me allows two reaction shots during overwatch instead of one i'm going to go for the extra health points because that would have come in useful um also being able to spot cars that are going to blow up okay i think next round we want to try and swap doc williams out with a, a lower health or a lower experience support person i do believe we have one more somewhere um so kubayashi you got got another promotion well done lightning reflexes that's good because i do run him up a lot uh that that's save save my <laughs> save turks turts turk sorry quite a few times didn't help it this time but there we go i think i'm gonna go with that lightning reflexes confirm okay uh and nakagawa Oh, he's a colonel as well. In the zone. Killing a flank to uncover target with a sniper does not cost an action. Ooh, that's useful. Or double tap. Allows both actions to be used for a standard shot, headshot, or disabling shot, providing no moves were made. One turn cooldown. Mmm. Both of these would be useful, and I'm not sure which one I want. I think the double tap's going to be more useful more often. If I've done wrong, you know, just, just let me know in the comments, as is always the way... Oh my god, look at all this stuff we got. This is this is amazing. More Illyrium, this is good. Weapons fragments, yeah, cool. Uh, panic has increased, increased across both Europe and Asia. We've got four engineers, but Argentina's gone Remember, well. Remember, we will be watching. And as I say every time, I'm going to be watching you because you seem to... Oh my god, look at the board now. What's going on here? Russia, have a satellite. Yes. Satellite launched. Woo! Um, so I, I think we're going to be like teetering on the edge almost the entire time. But this extra money is going to be good. This extra money is going to be amazing. Um, well, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time when we're going to be completely over the, the death of Turk. It's a sad day. Bye!